Okay, so this is just sort of a general update. I have a bunch of things to talk about, and hopefully I will remember them because I do not have any notes. Um, okay, so the first one is Windows and my experience with Windows 8. Basically, I liked Windows 8 in some ways. I liked the minimal window interface. I liked the sort of small speed increases that you get with high-end hardware, although with high-end hardware it doesn't really make much difference between 7 and 8 performance-wise. Um, and then things I didn't like are basically Metro is the main thing. I think uh, I don't just like Metro, I think Metro is good for tablets, but I think that having Metro on a, you know, cup a pair of 27-inch screens and a mouse keyboard, it just doesn't make sense. It's not an efficient use of space, and to have it taking up the whole screen, it's not really uh, very nice. So I didn't. I found that it bugged me a lot. I also found that moving my mouse up to the corners and the tops of the screens once in a while, if I was trying to resize a window uh, with the top of the window, I would accidentally grab and then sort of pull down, and then that sort of takes your whole desktop and like moves it around so I didn't really like that and then if you move to the corner by accident like if I I found that one of the things I do a lot is move a mouse to the bottom right corner and uh, to show desktop and to to sort of peek at the desktop sometimes and sometimes to show it I found that once I brought my mouse down into the bottom right corner half the time I would bring up the uh, sidebar with the start and the options and all that stuff, so that was irritating. But I like Metro for tablets. I think it makes sense on tablets, and it's good on tablets, but the desktop version should not have had Metro, in my opinion. <coughs> but more importantly than that, I used it for a while. Uh, I was getting a couple issues. One of them was uh, some random blue screens, like just completely random. I'd move my mouse, and then bam, blue screen. Uh, and I was not able to figure out what that was. I don't know what, what it was. And then, and the other thing, which was very, very strange, is it would randomly log me out once in a while. So I'd leave it. You Sometimes it would happen overnight, but sometimes it would just happen during the day as well. Just leave it, and then I come back, and it's logged. My account's logged off, and it's just sitting in the login screen, and I'm not logged in. So that was extremely uh, unacceptable, obviously, because I need the thing to be 100% stable. I'd be uploading something, or I would be in the middle of a game and have it paused, and then uh, when I go back to use it again, it would be completely locked out. So there was two main things with Windows 8 that I was having trouble with. So, But then there was the third thing, which was that my partition on my solid-state drive got corrupted somehow. So basically what happened is I was just in the Windows 8 desktop, everything started getting really, really slow and laggy, and I didn't understand what it was. And then I looked at the task manager, and that's another thing I did like about Windows uh, 8, was the more detailed task manager with every application had a column for CPU, memory, disk, network use, and all that sort of stuff. Everything was kind of categorized well, and that's another thing I liked about that. And then the third thing was when you go to copy files, there's a nice little graph in Windows 8, and in Windows 7 there wasn't, but that's those are small things. So I had a look at the Windows 8 uh, task manager, and I noticed that the uh, disk uses for disk C, which is my Samsung 840 drive, was 100% read and write. Uh, it was very, very strange. I went to restart, and then it just would never boot up again. So I booted up into Windows 7, and... Um, in Windows 7 I went into Boot Manager and the partition showed up, the drive showed up in the BIOS and the drive showed up in Windows 7 uh, Partition Manager as raw. So it was a partition but it was raw instead of being uh, active or whatever, uh, primary or active or however it is when it's healthy. And I wasn't able to get any data off of it so I had to reformat it and then the drive was fine but I lost a little bit of data because I didn't have a backup. I had maybe a backup that was a couple of weeks old. So I lost a bit of documents and a bit of stuff on the desktop, but not too not too much. And then everything else is on uh, hard drives. 
So when I, uh, so I, because I was having trouble with Windows 8, uh, when I went, when I uh, went to reinstall the operating system, I installed uh, Windows 7 instead. So I've had Windows 7 installed for a couple weeks now, and it's been completely rock stable. I, I've had it on uh, for the whole, pretty much the whole uh, couple weeks nonstop. I've even had uh, games running, Grand Theft Auto, <coughs> and uh, I've slept it each night, or some nights, I've put it to sleep, woke it up, and had the game still running. So, and I've had no blue screen issues, no, obviously no issues with flying, signing out, because that was never something that happened with Windows 7 anyway. And uh, no issues with blue screen, so I know it wasn't a hardware related issue, it was just something to do with the combination of my hardware with Windows 8 uh, didn't work out very well and it wasn't stable. So I've had Windows 7 and I like that it's all desktop and no Metro stuff. Um, the uh, s transparent arrow effects on the UI, I don't love it that much but I don't mind it. And But overall I've been enjoying the time I've had my new system and my new hardware set up installed with Windows 7 for a couple weeks now. I've enjoyed it more than Windows, having Windows 8 on there, which I had for a few months. So, no issues with the hardware, it's just a Windows 8 related issue. In fact, Windows 7 has been, has been so stable, it's actually extremely impressive, because I've had so many things. I had like 40 applications running for days and days and days, and nothing ever uh, goes wrong. You know, I can still run my game even after I've put the computer to sleep. It's very impressive, actually. The next thing was I had a fan controller in there. For a while, for one day, I, ha I decided for some weird reason that I would put the fan controller in and uh, hook the fans up to it. I did that. Uh, I it looked so ugly at the front. It completely ruined the nice lines of the front, and I took some... Uh, some photographs of the of the case after I took the fan controller back out. <clears throat> Basically, I have the f I decided that I hated the look of it. It was completely ugly. It ruins the the lines of the case and the cleanly look of the case. So, I took it out. Uh, I connected the fans to the motherboard, and the M Power has a very nice built-in uh, fan control in the BIOS and in, and with the software. I just went in with the BIOS and set the fans up the way I wanted. So I set the top fans to 50%. I set the front fans to a little bit higher. Uh, I think 70% or 60%. And I've just been running it like that ever since. And there's no issues. It's very, very good. And the other thing, I, I removed the top uh, hard drive cage and that improved the uh, 7950 uh, fan performance. Basically, the 7950 was running a little bit hot and it was spinning up the fan <coughs> quite a bit <coughs> and so it when I took the top hard drive cage out it reduced the <coughs> the average percent that the video card fan was running by quite a bit the video card was running at like 65 percent fan during a normal game with no overclock just uh, just stock settings a normal game and it was running at 65% fan and sometimes even up to 70% fan so it was getting very very loud when I took the top hard drive cage out it, the, t the average fan speed that it runs at now is 45% so a huge huge difference there so the card's a lot quieter and that's very nice um, yeah so I have the fan controller out Got my new Windows 7 copy, which I'm pleased with. Um, I took some photos of the outside of the case, and those are uploaded on the uh, forum and on my Flickr. <coughs> um, what else was I going to talk about? Um, so I've had no trouble with the Samsung drive ever since uh, I installed Windows 7 on it. Um, the memory, I ran uh, mem test, that's why I have the uh, external optical drive and the, and the disk there. I ran mem test and I checked the memory, no issues. Ran disk check after I formatted it, 
no issues there and I've had no absolutely no stability issues with Windows 7 um, I've got a drive in there now because I'm doing some backup stuff uh, the whole the, it's been running very quiet very cool I'm very pleased with it and in fact I'm also starting to like the 650D more and more and more there was a time when I was sort of nitpicking on all the little issues that it has uh, quite a bit and I was thinking about getting a new case something else but now <coughs> I actually am growing to like it quite a bit and uh, I'm liking it more and more so I think that I'm going to keep the case for a while at least and uh, because I'm enjoying it quite a bit Um, sound wise, um, I still have onboard sound, which is what I have been using, and I connected up the front panel uh, audio ports, which is something I don't normally do, but I've been using it at night for movies, um, because I don't like to, uh, <coughs> to have the, uh, the, 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 uh, preamplifier connection at the back of the case I don't like to have to unplug that and plug headphones in and then do that every time I want to use headphones so I uh, just plug the preamplifier into the back uh, port of the case or of the motherboard and then I connected up the uh, the front panel and then I'm using that for for headphones at night when I watch movies and stuff so uh, that's something that I haven't done for a while, but I'm actually using it every night, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, also, dust-wise, uh, with the way I set it up with the 50% uh, exhaust and 70% uh, intake, and I've got the two fans at the front and two at the top, I've noticed that the dust buildup has been minimal, uh, dust in the hot swap bay has been minimal, so I'm uh, very pleased with that overall. Um, also, my keyboard. Uh, I've been... Uh, that's another thing I was kind of <coughs> not happy about for a while. And I still don't like the, um, the font on it. And I st it's too big uh, for my taste. It has too much of a bezel all around it. But the Razer uh, Blackwood Ultimate um, I've been enjoying using it, <coughs> the keys and everything. Uh, blue switches are my favorite because I like the note, the sound and the tactile feel. So that's something that I'm probably going to uh, maybe keep for a while. And uh, even though I was thinking about getting it replaced. Um, the mouse, I ha still have an old, old uh, Death Adder that I got years ago, and it still works all right. Uh, it is a little bit big for my hand, um, but it's not too bad. I don't know what I would replace it with if I was to replace it. Um, the Myonix uh, 8200 is kind of neat looking, but that looks really big as well. Um, I kind of like the look of the rat, the rat mice, but I found I went to Amazon to read reviews on those, and I found that. There's tons and tons of uh, negative reviews of it breaking and bad quality, uh, so I'm not too crazy about uh, the sh the small amount of reviews I've seen for it so far. Um, the the mobile raid thing. Um, right now it's just sitting uh, in my pile of stuff somewhere. Um, it's too loud to have on 24/7. Um, so right now I don't have any drives in it. I might use it as a backup, like once a week or a couple times a week backup, just to turn it on, back up, and then turn it off. But it is too loud. Um, the 40 millimeter fan runs constantly all the time, and it sucks in so much dust. Also, I had it running for only a couple weeks, and you can see in the in the video on it on the channel. There's a, a uh, dedicated video to the uh, mobile raid uh, so much dust builds up 
inside of it in even the course of one month of it running 24 7 so running 24 7 is not the best um, I am maybe exploring other options for um, for uh, maybe like a NAS uh, some, but I'd like something that is passive so that it doesn't make much noise um, and also something that sort of muffles the noise of the, that the drives makes too because even when I had the cover off of the uh, Sans Digital one, and I was running with no the fan disconnected, but just the cover off and the two drives in there, it was actually quite loud as well because the drive just the drives operating are kind of loud if there's no uh, cover. Uh, when they're in the case, it kind of that kind of um, diffuses the noise of the drives. But when you have them just out in the open, they're a little bit noisy. So I'd like something that sort of diffuses the noise of the actual drives but is also uh, passively cooled so there's no noise from an additional fan um, cooling wise right now I have the Noctua NHD 14 I've had for about a year um, I used it on 1366 for a while it performed a while there and uh, now I'm using it with my uh, my Ivy Bridge 3770K and it's performing well there too of course um, but I'm looking at the SwiftTech H220 when it comes out at the uh, beginning of March, end of February, because I basically would like more space inside the case, and I'd like to be able to sort of see the motherboard more, you know, swap RAM in and out more, but mainly just see, because you don't need to swap RAM that much, don't need to swap stuff that much, but mainly just uh, see stuff more. So I have the D, I have no complaints about the D14 performance-wise. I love it. It's great. Um, but uh, stature-wise, it's a little bit large, and so I might be switching to the SwiftTech H220. I've never liked the Corsair stuff, the H100. Uh, I got a couple of terrible ones with my dad's build, and uh, H100i never was too fast on that. But when the H SwiftTech H220 came out, I really liked the look of that, and so that might be my next uh, cooling option. If I could change one thing with the uh, 650D, I love the look of the front. It's very minimal, very clean lines, very nice. <coughs> but if I could change one thing with the the 650, it would be the the window because I wish it was uh, much larger, uh, especially uh, taller and open more near the uh, CPU socket area at the top instead of uh, being uh, filled in quite a bit there because of the clips. So if I could change one thing about the 650D, I'd like a much bigger window. Um, what else? Um, it's not too much else. Um, like 13.2 catalyst drivers. I got those when they came out. Uh, Crisis 3 uh, open multiplayer beta. Uh, I got that when it came out. And uh, it runs... Uh, well, it looks very similar to Crisis 2 in my opinion, um, but it runs well, uh, probably about 60 frames per second with the uh, MSI 7950, uh, everything on uh, Ultra, and uh, resolution at 1080p with the uh, Catalyst 13.2 driver, so no complaints there. Uh, I'd be interested to see when the, uh, when the actual game comes out shortly. Uh, what the uh, single player mission is like campaign hopefully it's uh, interesting and good and uh, things that I've been playing recently uh, mainly uh, I played a bit of Far Cry 3 and I've been advancing in Far Cry 3 a little bit but mainly I've been playing uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 which is one of my favorite games of all time um, but I never actually finished uh, the complete game so I've been sort of uh, replaying that and enjoying that a lot. That's one of those games that I can kind of always get, it's always easy for me to get into that and get involved in that, whereas with some first person shooters it's not as easy for me to get involved in it and get interested in it. Um, also Skyrim uh, Dragonborn I believe it's called uh, is something that I'm going to be uh, playing soon. I played a little bit of Skyrim and did some odd missions uh, a couple days ago, and I'm probably going to get Dragonborn uh, very shortly. I know it came out a few days ago already. Um, 
so that's what I've been playing. And, uh, so yeah, I think that that covers a lot of stuff. And, uh, that's about 20 minutes, so I think that's enough for this update. But I want to just sort of give a general update. <coughs> I had a couple short videos on Windows, a couple short videos on each subject or some of the subjects, but I wanted to just make a more clear video on all of the subjects combined and just give a bit more details about each thing. So I think that I have done that now, so I'm going to wrap it up. And uh, goodbye. I will see you later.